We were back. I hope you got the time to think about your main idea and key details. The main idea is all about what the oceans look like and the different levels of the ocean. Oh, and, I, and the plants and animals that live there. So that gives a, a pretty good, that's a pretty big summary sentence there. Um, but it also does go more than just what does the ocean look like. I know sometimes you see a header and you think, oh, that's my main idea. But I wanted to kind of explain also the main, the main ideas about what the oceans look like, the different levels of the ocean, and the plants and animals that live there. First, the top level of the ocean contains the most plants and animals because it receives the most sunlight. And also, the deepest part of the ocean does not receive much sunlight, so not many plants and animals live there. Another fact is, the ocean floor and ocean terrain is constantly changing because of things like volcanoes that erupt and add new parts to the ocean. So that is my summary of that chapter. Um, but I am going to be going to that last chapter of threats to the ocean. So again, I want you thinking about the main idea and key details as I'm going. Threats to the ocean. Ocean plants and animals have learned to survive in both cold and warm ocean waters. Both changes in the weather and human activities are harming ocean habitats. One big problem is changes in the weather. This causes the water to become warmer. Warmer water can harm some plants and animals, such as krill. Krill is an important food source for many other animals in the ocean. Warmer temperatures cause ice to melt. This makes ocean water ri levels rise. Warmer water and higher water levels also lead to stronger storms. Storms can damage ocean life. They can also damage the land closest to the ocean. Another problem is pollution in oceans. Humans throw garbage and other harmful things in the ocean. This pollution damages plants and animals. Plants and animals need a clean habitat to survive. Overfishing in oceans is also a problem. Fishers are taking too many fish out of the ocean too fast. New fish cannot grow as fast as they are being caught. When this happens, there's not enough food for other animals. Humans must take care of the ocean so it will always be a safe habitat for the plants and animals who live there. So you can pause the video here, reread this if you need to. I do have this image here of um, just fish being caught. Caption, fishers must be careful not to take too many fish from the ocean. So you can pause the video here just to kind of reread this to think about what you might um, want to do for your main idea in key details. But watch the next and last part here to get your main idea and key details.